Hey guys, Pasay Baller here. We are now on this third game or third prediction for December 17, 2021 NBA Game Day. This is the game between Golden State Warriors with a record of 23-5 and and Boston Celtics, the home team, with a record of 14-14. and This one will be played 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, so that'll be 8.30 a.m. here in Manila. And before we proceed, I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right, let's take a look at uh, the standings first. Um, so for Boston Celtics, obviously, they belong to the Eastern Conference. Uh, they are at number 10. And for their past last 10 games, rather, um, they have won... Hold on, sorry about that. They have won four and approaching this uh, game, they're actually coming off a win. And that was against the defending champions, the Milwaukee Bucks. Now for Golden State Warriors, they are uh, obviously in the Western Conference. And they are at number one in the West and the entire NBA as that. For their past 10 games, they have won seven, uh, seven, uh, seven times. And um, approaching this game, they are riding a back-to-back -back winning streak. All right. Uh... So, the Boston Celtics would actually have the home court advantage. Um, that's one point. Um, Momentum-wise, uh, we got to give it to Golden State Warriors. As Again, for their past 10 games, they've, been, they've won 7. And approaching this game, they are on the back-to-back -back winning streak. Now, let's take a look at the um, injury list to determine uh, who's having the advantage in terms of health. For Boston Celtics, there are two people who are out. Um, Bruno Fernando, um, and this is due to his back. And Jabari Parker is actually uh, some COVID-19 protocols. A lot of players are being affected uh, with COVID-19. Actually, not just players, but a lot of people. So uh, please take uh, please take care, everyone, you know, um, until this COVID-19 is uh, um, fully uh, out, man. We have to really take care of each other. Um, so that's Boston Celtics. Um, for Golden State Warriors, well, they only have a couple, and these two players have been out really ever since uh, you know the the season started. And that, and that is uh, Clay Thompson, along with uh, James Wiseman. Okay, so health wise, um, I, I gotta say that you know it's like even Steven, uh, two players are unavailable for both teams. I don't think uh, fatigue would be much of a factor. Um, because both teams actually are having a rest yesterday. I'm looking at the spread. It's actually minus 3.5 earlier, but let me go ahead and re uh, refresh this one. It is still minus 3.5 for Golden State Warriors. Um, and again, Golden State Warriors is the best team in the NBA right now, right? Um, in Boston Celtics, uh, their record of 14 and 14, um, they're not really that Boston Celtics that we know, right? Um, but take note, um, one of their best players, Jalen Brown, is actually back. Actually, he played last time out. That was against the Milwaukee Bucks, and they actually defeated Milwaukee Bucks. Um, now, I actually have a feeling that you know Boston Celtics would actually build around that win against Milwaukee Bucks, and that should really you know pump them up. Uh, approaching this game, I'm not really saying that you know Boston Celtics can you know can definitely uh, and will definitely beat Golden State. Um, I'm not saying that, but of course they can, right? They got Tatum, they got uh, Brown, and they also have Marcus Smart and Al Horford is playing like he's like 25, man. Um, um, I feel like you know it's due for Boston Celtics to string some wins, um, and what a way to do that. After beating the, you know, the what you call this, the defending champions in Milwaukee Bucks, going up against the Golden State Warriors, and you know, um, based on you know, based on history, sometimes whenever uh, awards are given, um, achievements are you know, achievements are made. Um, uh, uh, the the game after that is going to be like a a so so game, or or a you know, or, or a dismal performance for that team who received, or for that player who received that kind of achievement. Of course, that doesn't happen all the times, but I just noticed that. So um, but it really, uh, the, the the my main reason as to why I'm picking Boston Celtics on this, but with a plus, all right? 
is because they are now uh, having the, the, their big three. Their big three and Tatum, Brown, and Marcus Smart. Plus, again, the fact that Al Horford is actually playing like he's 25 years old, man. Um, and not only that, they have other guards as well who can go ahead and try to take uh, Stephen Curry. They, they can never stop Stephen Curry, but they can at least manage Curry's scoring. Um, Tatum and Brown, they can actually make Stephen Curry defend them. And if you would actually make a scorer defend you, then that'll actually somehow tire them out, and that that will somehow, you know, lessen uh, their accuracy and their capability to score more. All right. So my pick on this one would be Boston Celtics, the home team. But I'm gonna take the plus, uh, plus three point five. I know a lot of players. I know a lot of people would actually disagree on me on this, but you know, Gosson, Golden State, they're actually the the best team in the NBA. But that doesn't mean that they are unbeatable. All right. So I'm. Picking Boston Celtics on this, plus 3.5. Um, I don't remember when was the last time I picked Boston Celtics. But yeah, but yeah, uh, for this one, I'm going to pick Boston Celtics with a plus 3.5. Celtics, plus 3.5. Peace out, pass love, and God bless.